Hello, hello, and welcome to At Home with Lucas. So today we're going to be talking about Stella Blue Coffee once again, but in particular we're going to talk about their Big Cat Blend. Yes, people, this is a whole bean coffee I got my hands on, so we're going to be doing all the fun stuff with the burr grinder. We're going to break that down. We're going to do a pour over, all that awesome stuff that you guys definitely enjoy. And we're, of course, going to brew up a very hot, very tasty cup of coffee in which I will give you my star rating on this coffee so you will know at home should you buy this bag or should you skip it entirely? That is what's up, people. That's why you come to this channel. I sip and review coffee. My goal is to review all the coffees on the planet. I'm up to over 130 as of right now, and I'm working my way towards the final goal of sipping all the coffees. So definitely subscribe to this channel if that's something you're interested in. I also review a little bit of everything as the name at home with Lucas implies it is not a I'm not a one trick pony. I don't just do one type of review. I do it all people. So hopefully one day you'll see this guy's face and you'll go that guy made it <laughs> enough jibba jab. Let's go ahead and start this review people. All right, let's take a look at this bad boy right quick. So at the top right, I like how they put the fresh buy date or best buy date. That's really cool. This is whole bean Stella blue coffee. This is of course stamped by the Rainforest Alliance stamp of approval right there. Their artwork is just so cool. It's just so simple and straightforward. Really cool. This is whole bean coffee, of course. Big cat blend, medium roast, 100% Arabica. This is a 12 ounce bag right here. So it, this is actually Barstool Sports, or at least it's a trademark that is by Barstool Sports. So that's really cool. Big cat blend, a balanced blend of Colombian and Central America coffee roasted perfectly with flavors of light fruitiness and sweet nuttiness. Okay, not the two that I would enjoy the most, but um, if done right, I can enjoy it. Um, <laughs> if you're still reading this, you've wasted precious time <laughs> that you should be using to drink this coffee. Oh, that is hilarious. That is so funny. All right, take a look at the back. This is a little bit more about the Stella Blue Coffee. Pause it if you want to read it. Medium roast. So this is a, Stella Blue is a trademark of Barstool Sports. Okay, let's check the one-way valve right there. So there's a little bit of poofiness in here. Ooh, that aroma is very, very intoxicating. All right, yeah, so very nice one-way valve is doing its job let's go ahead and crack this open take a look at the beans all right so let's go ahead and take a closer look at these beans so right off the bat these are large and medium beans light oil you can see there's a little bit of oil on that right there but very lightly oiled roasted definitely medium to uh dark i would say right at the cusp it's a little bit higher than a normal medium roast i'm um, not really seeing a lot of imperfections there are some husk tucked inside of these beans right here but all in all i'm gonna have to say these look really nice they look like they're roasted um very carefully <laughs> and very simplistically these look like a very simple roast and um yeah I, nothing to complain about so far the aroma is mild it's definitely not hitting me really hard um but yeah definitely nice looking beans and i cannot wait to get this to the burr grinder okay so what i do before every review is i clean out everything with water believe it or not I actually send water down into there and it comes out right here and it cleans out everything i rinse this out with water wipe it down, make sure I get all the oils off. That way I don't have cross contamination of coffee beans because that can happen very easily. And that's why I always look for grinders, which I'm actually looking for one right now, that will not, that'll be an easy or clean than this. This one's a little bit difficult. You can't just take this apart super easily um, and clean it. So my next grinder will 100% be an easy clean grinder. So I don't have to 
potentially damage it because I don't think you're supposed to send water through this, but that's what I do just for you guys. Alright, let's go ahead and take a closer look at these grounds. Woo! Look at that rich color. That is a very, very nice looking ground coffee right there. And you can tell that it broke down really, really nicely. There's not a lot of jagged edges. This burr grinder, if you put crappy beans in, they will break down in a very uneven, ununiform way. But those beans look absolutely amazing. Those broke down exactly how you'd want them to. Big, big thumbs up. Loving it. Okay, let's take a quick minute to talk about the water temperature for a pour over. So you want it to be about 190 to 195. If it's over 200, you will burn and scold your ground coffee and it will make your coffee taste like junk. All right, let's load up the coffee gator pour over maker machine. This is a 1 8 scoop. I'm gonna put four of these in this machine right here. I call it a machine because it's that powerful. Boom, some movie magic. We got four giant scoops in there. And then we're gonna do 500 milliliters for the water. So that is four 1 8 scoops to 500 milliliters of water. That is my coffee to water ratio. Okay, so the first pour is just gonna be the soak pour. It's not gonna actually be considered a pour you just want to soak all the grounds kind of like a french press get it nice and soaked let it all drip out the bottom and once you've gone about 30 seconds then you're going to go ahead and give it what i consider the first and most important pour because this is going to tell us a huge amount of the freshness of these beans and the quality so here we go we're going to hit it with the first pour and you want to go clockwise so we're gonna spin this clockwise, woo! Look at that plumage right there. Look at that crema-like appearance. That is beautiful right there. And this is definitely a medium to dark roast. You can see how it's got that dark sort of swirl to it. And it's got that cinnamony look. So it's got the dark and the light all inside of there. And it definitely plumed up enough. Wow, we have been completely fogged out on this one. We're not gonna be able to see that stream right now. But there you go, that was a perfect first pour. Let's go ahead and give it the second pour. All right, woo, that is looking really good. Typically, you wanna do this within about three minutes. So if you're new to pour overs, you can set a little timer. And if you run out of time, then the next time you do it, uh, just speed up your process. All right, let's see if we can't see the stream. Woo, look at that. That is very nice looking. Yep, that is definitely a medium to dark roast is what I'm gonna call this one. Yeah, it's looking really, really nice. This is exactly what you wanna see from a good quality bean right here. Still holding strong. That is a beautiful color right there. Very nice plumage. It's not letting the water dissipate super quickly, so that's telling me the beans are quality. Very, very nice. Some beans, the water will literally just flow right through it within a matter of seconds, and it'll just look, it'll look terrible, and you'll just know immediately you're dealing with some pretty bad beans. I think that only happened on one of the Folgers um, 1850 beans. Those were not, not very good. That's only happened a couple times. All right, give it another swirl, and we should be right about 500. That's our mark right there. That's what I typically do, four scoops, 500 coffee to water ratio. Okay, so believe it or not, there is an optimal sip temperature. 
and it is 135 people. So try this at home, get yourself a thermometer, stick it in your coffee and check the temperature. If it's over 135, just let it cool down to about 140 and then start drinking your coffee and you're gonna be blown away. The hotter the coffee, actually the less flavor notes you're gonna hit. So I always start about 140 right there. That's optimal. Yeah, try this at home, you're gonna be blown away. All right, let's get into this zip test, people. Woo, super excited about this one. So that aroma is very, very interesting. It definitely has like this sour sort of punch to it. It has this sort of smell that's, that's not uh, your typical bean smell. It's got something very interesting in it and I'm super excited to get into this sip, people. Okay. All right, woo, whoa, that threw me back. I am not kidding at all. That really hit me at the last second. I'm getting this aroma in the mouth that's beautiful. It is a, woo, that is a delicious cup of coffee, people. I am not even kidding you. Yeah, the flavor notes are unreal. They're powerful, they're bouncing all over the place. You get left with this sort of sweet, aromatic, sort of like joy in the mouth. Definitely something that is is quality and, and precise. This is very, very interesting. Yeah, the initial hit is a little bit bitter. It's a little bit sour. But then you have all these flavor notes that are sort of bouncing around. There's almost like a floral taste to it. There's almost like this little hit. Then you got like this nutty taste up around the molars very very powerful cup of coffee for a medium roast this is definitely delicious it's well balanced uh bold <laughs> bold is the word i'm going to give this one so i'm super excited to, to taste their dark roast because this is a medium roast and it has a lot of power going on in it and i'm very very impressed mm. wow yeah, that is a hard hitting cup of coffee. Um, definitely something that you could consume with some super salty, uh, greasy breakfast food for sure. It, it, it stands in a position that's, that's favoring that kind of food. I wouldn't consume this with a sweet food because it has like this sweet note to it. So there is this underlining sweet note, but you have like this bitter hit. So if you're someone who wants a punchy, strong cup of coffee, this is definitely the one for you. Hmm. Wow, yeah. Yeah, I love when I go into a coffee review and I get the first sip and it's not anything like I expected at all. Like it just completely blows me away. Those are the coffees that I remember. Those are the coffees I enjoy the most. And this is definitely one of those right here. This one just has like this really nice uh, power to it that is very inviting and it really makes you want to continue to go down the, the, the path that is this cup of coffee that is very, very delicious. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, it's becoming super familiar now. So it's kind of leveling out. It's not as like shocking as it was with the first sip and it's not tapering down into a negative, it's staying true, like right in the middle, which is actually really, really enjoyable. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna give this a solid 4.8 star rating. I'm gonna say it's not hitting all the boxes to make it that at home with Lucas five star, maybe the dark roast will, I don't know, I haven't tried it yet, but this one is one, it's one off. There's just something about it that's not that premium perfect cup of coffee but it's very very good it's definitely well grown the beans are definitely well grown well well maintained um, and whatever they did with this blend phenomenal it's absolutely amazing so solid solid star rating yeah I'm really impressed with this company I think that this company is definitely one to look out for and if you've not bought their coffee just click the link down below and buy some of their beans. <laughs> mm. 
yeah, that's a solid star rating. Uh, beautiful cup of coffee from, from bean to grind to brew to cup to sip. I'm impressed. Very nice. Love the bag. Love, love everything. The artwork, the way that they're designing and, and running this company. Big, big thumbs up for that. Uh, definitely giving them another attaboy for sure. Um, just really fun. It's just such a fun company. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's a solid 4.8. Big thumbs up. Uh, cannot wait to sink my teeth. No, <laughs> to, to sink my taste buds. <laughs> I cannot wait to sink my taste buds into their dark roast. So definitely subscribe to the channel if you want to see me review their dark roast coffee coming up in the next few weeks. Mm. Yeah. Bye. -it. All right, there you go. That is the Stella Blue Coffee. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely click to clack that like button. If you wanna join the Adam Lucas family and you wanna be a part of this crew, hit that subscribe button. Every time I get a subscriber, I get a boost to make more and more videos and it's because of you guys, I surpassed 5K, so close to 6K. Maybe by the time you watch this video, it will be 6K, but nonetheless, I need your help. Yes, you right there. Tell your friends, tell your family. This guy's on YouTube. They should go subscribe and watch my channel. But as always, I thank you for watching each and every one of my videos, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.